rare breed for sure. I mean, Palutena is still an excellent character, but a lot of people losing faith in her. Jen, stick him with her. And, and we are starting. Getting results. Town, most definitely getting results. Yep, so here we go. Winners finals. Just a reminder to everyone. Oh, I miss saying this. This is a best two or three set because we got to get home. Ain't, ain't that right, Devin? Home. Ain't that right? Yeah! That's what I like to hear. Let's go. We got to so, get home. Stressful. These trains only run so late. That's exactly right. So we're going to start off the gate, you know, Nair. Palutena is going to be doing a lot of Nair. That's like the name of the game. No, even though that move has been nerfed to hell and back since the beginning of this game, it's still a really solid, like, neutral tool for just being able to rack up damage. Good punishing tool. That's right. The uh, extensions from that Nair from Jen are just huge. He's so crisp with his combos, bro. If you get that down tilt off stage, that just pops the opponent up so perfectly for the back air. There's not much until they can do about that. That's right. The placement on those down tilts have been key for Jen in taking these last couple sets. We've seen a lot of damage and stocks come from those down tilts. So Jen definitely going to be continuing that trend. But Tilde calling out the jump off the town platform with that back air. Definitely going to be one of the biggest uh, kill tools for Falco. Yeah, Falco's got a lot of good aerial mobility, being able to like get up to that height so quickly and That's so right. fast, being able to cover jump options, being able to like apply shield pressure as well. You're gonna yeah. see a lot of that happening, especially like on the likes of like Town 2, those platform placements. Yeah, I mean those platforms have been huge for Tilde in every set we've seen him in. I mean, just racking up the damage, but he has no slouch on the FD transformation as well, as we see him in advantage with the down air back air, keeping Jen off the stage, going for that two frame with the down air, but Jen answering back, getting off the ledge with an advantage of his own. Okay, here we go. Down air right at a shield, trying to poke him out the top with that up air. Again, you have to be on the lookout for it. Up till that is like Falco's bread and butter for That's a neutral right. startup. Here we go off stage. No up smash. Gonna be able to connect. He's gonna be patient. And that's kind of the name of the game that Jen's been doing so far. Is he's just kind of mm. waiting out, waiting for that opportunity to start to go ham. Yeah, don't want to be too hasty against Falco because he will tack on the percent with the swiftness. Dude, everything we, combos with Everything this does combo. You will struggle to find a move that doesn't, and Tilde taking full advantage of that with that side B into fair, I believe, catching Jen's DI out. Dash attack. Ooh. Ooh, forcing the so right there, the explosive flame was not supposed to hit. If it did, cool. But the point was to put him into a yeah. precarious position, like he just did with that air dodge. Yep. Fortunately, Jen was just a little bit too slow with that down smash. Yeah. I think because well, what was happening, he was he wanted to make sure he was guaranteed to hit that, so he didn't want to throw it out too early and until he just kind of drifts away from it. So it was a smart plan, just poorly executed. That's, That's right. okay. He's gonna clean up with that back air. Definitely gonna clean up with that back air. One of the most consistent ways for Paul to put kills on the board, especially at that ledge. We've seen Jen time and time again using that tool. Ooh, calling out the, the spot dodge with the, the dash tag, those active frames coming through for Palutena. The down tilt again, Falco's off stage, not a great position. That's him again, but that side be so good for again, just popping up the opponent, get him into the airborne. That's where Falco wants their opponent to be. That's right. There we go, up throw. Ooh, what? Jen coming down. No hesitation on that dare, or nair rather. And we see him applying the pressure with these back airs once again. I think going through one of Falco's moves before. These big hitboxes really pushing Falco to the limit here, pushing him to the edge and Tilde trying to sneak on with a double jump air dodge. Jen gonna call that out with the back air swiftly. Just an easy peasy lemon squeezy ending there. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just kind of, you know, it, I mean, it was a close game the whole time. One of For my sure. favorite moments in the set that happened at one point in moments, I believe, was when Tilde was like racking up combos on Jen and all of a sudden he just stood still and didn't do anything because he was trying to see it, it was data collecting. First off, it was data collecting. He wanted That's to know right. what Jen was going to do in that situation, how he could apply that for the future of the set. But also, he wanted to see if he could catch him, you know, slacking with an air dodge. Maybe he's going to air dodge in a, in a panic, but Jen's not going to do that. Jen's a top player here in, right. within New York City. He's going to, he, he, know, he knows his bread and butter, you know, like he's not going to be able to fall for that. He most definitely does. Jen, one of the most difficult players to really scare in a match like this. I mean, this is the most comfortable these players get in their home turf. And I mean, you know, Jen, was definitely not in the lead for that entire game, but like you said, with Tilde, you know, kind of, he was scoping out the movement options from Falco, putting them in that pretty precarious situation with that explosive flame, like you mentioned, calling out the spot dodges with uh, dash attack and other types of moves like that. So we see Jen doing some info collecting for himself. Now we have Falco at the ledge. 
Getting a lot of side Bs out of Tilde recently, and when it's on the stage like that, you're going to just see Jen hold shield just to stop him in his tracks. That's a furry punish. Yeah. That's right. The reason Tilde goes for it so much is because right now he's at that percent where he's going to be able to get a huge combo off of it, and potentially a kill depending on how he plays his cards. That's right. So I, I see why he's going for it so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, that side B just covering such a large amount of space. You know, you can kind of catch Palu doing her general game plan of kind of, you know, spacing you out with the aerials if you time it well. Maybe catch a, uh, you know, jump back back air, something like that. Definitely going to be kept in mind for Tilde here. I like these back airs, just throwing them out there, forcing Tilde to like, you know, if you pick an option, this is going to cover it, but it was all just a bait winning as he just reacts for it right That's afterwards. That's right, yeah, just setting up the back air chain, you know, just back air, back air over and over to uh, kind of put some pressure on Tilde and let him know that these options are covered. Making Tilde trying to come back from Legend a bit of a weird way, going to get hit with that F tilt, still the stock. The side B it was a mid air that one, so he's able to like go Ooh, through him. Good. Yeah. That was a weird, wacky pickup combo from Tilly, but he's been able to pull that off, yeah, take a, little, a stock. A little bit of a custom combo there, popping him up from the spike with the uh, side B, getting connecting with the back air. Let's see how Jen adapts to these side Bs. I mean, he's been getting a lot off of them Tilde. It's not just you know, it's not just up tilt, down air, nair. You know, he's he's working this side B into his advantage, into his neutral, and and it's coming through in the advantage. Yeah, here we go, Jen getting that back throw. I like the placement of that down air. He was trying to get the spike, and it was relatively safe on the edge of the stage there, potentially trying to, like, catch him through the ground before he goes for a high, higher recovery. Yeah, that's right. And, I mean, Tilde, you know, with that Falco up air, maybe, maybe thinking he might try to poke at him coming back to the stage. But, once again, Jen fighting very well out of the corner with that nair, getting a grab afterwards and still in the stock with a back throw. Oh, that shield was looking like a skittle there Most for a definitely. second. Definitely, the shield pressure in these matches is going to be insane. We got Jen again coming back to the stage with that nair. I mean, till they shielded it, but kind of get it caught at the end there. Ooh, not sure that di was off. I don't know. I mean, it was at a 142. We are small battlefield. Ooh, till they or Jen with the reaction on that tech chase, catching the jump with the nail. That's Falco with no jump. That's a very scary position. Holds the up smash. If you just held up a little bit longer, because he had the ability to. You can yep. hold smash attacks forever in this game. Oh, yeah, for sure. But you know Tilde is going to uppy into the side of that stage so that he gets the uh, mix-up angle, preventing Jen. You know, basically equating it to, like, uh, more of a 50-50 than, than he probably would have liked. Tilde, I mean, you know, the, the percent is in Jen's favor. But Tilde can definitely put on some damage. And the... Side B trying to schemat Palu with that down air. Trying to catch with the landing, runs off the platform, explosive flame right above, trying to potentially catch a higher Ooh. recovery. Not going to be able to work out for him. They're just kind of running at each other now, 133% on Tilde, looking for this finale. Ooh, and Jen, you know, scouting out the down air in that situation, but going to get the roll. I mean, that ledge pressure is so overwhelming, you kind of, you know, your first thought is to roll, really. Get away from the Palutena, but Jen, you know, Gonna be on that. He's expecting it. Yeah, because I mean, after after you uh, tried to go for like the little finale there with the down air, Nair just running back up here. He just waits for it very calmly. I might add. He literally right. walks into position. Doesn't even want to go for the dash afterwards. Just purely walks a couple steps. Mm -hmm. Gets the up tilt. Yeah. Gets the stuff. What is happening with this music choice? I'm Do music, it. bro. We're in grand finals. Jen sitting. I've noticed that every time I go come back to commentary into a top eight in any sort of fashion, Jen powers up and he gets the grand finals. Am I the curse? You might be his good luck charm. I don't know. I mean, you said he gets the grands and he gets demolished? No, no, he wins. Oh, he wins. He wins tournaments, bro. I mean, he sure hopes so. We Jen got, I mean... I know he hasn't been coming to tournaments as much as he's been wanting to. He's right. got a lot of stuff on his plate. You know, he's uh -huh. been living... He's an adult now. He's That's got right. life. I remember him when he was in high school, so it's kind of a weird, weird, weird thought to me. Mm -hmm. But now he's like an actual full fledged adult with a working job. That's right. I mean, you know, we got the employed players coming through. You know, I mean, if you look at this top eight, <laughs> no zombie in attendance, no, uh, no D Dog. Actually, D Dog has a job. I lied. But he's a kid, so.